Yo, it's Demi, or it's not. I don't know, it's completely up to you by this point. <laughs> so everyone's been bugging me to make more tier list videos since my last one, which is over like, what, two years ago? Bruh. But after that one, I didn't really think tier lists were main channel worthy, so so here's this one in the slums of my new second Dead by Daylight channel. I'm starting off with a simple topic today before I, you know, ease my way into like the weirder topics, like, uh, I don't know, which survivor would I let shove a burrito up my arm? Anyway, so today's topic is which killers I find the most fun to play against. This is all personal and my opinion, so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have fun with it. First one is the OG Trapper. I think I'm a bit weird when I rank this one, but I think Trapper is extremely fun to play against. So I think there's two types of trappers, and I reckon you have to change the way you loop depending on which one. There's the regular trappers, which just, <laughs> they just put traps in obvious windows and under pallets, so it's like really easy to know which loops you should and shouldn't loop. But then there's the good trappers, and oh man, they put traps in places where you usually run through without thinking that there would ever be a trap there. Like, let's, let's say you're looping Shaq. They wouldn't put the trap over the window. They'd put the trap, like, in the very corner of, of, of Shack, in, like, a grassy area. So you run into it before you even reach the window. Those are the trappers that keep me on edge, because I find that fun. I, I like being on my toes in this game, and a good trapper gives me that feeling. But, oh, bro, I fucking hate getting basemented by the trapper. It, it literally makes my fucking balls shrivel, because it, it's, like, it's basically a guaranteed kill. That part of trapper ruins the fun just a little bit, so I'd probably have to put him in, like, A tier or something. Kind of fun. Darafe. Okay, everyone and their fucking nan loves versing the Wraith. Let's be honest. It's it's the Wraith. Speed boost mind games on pallets will always be super fun to try and go against and counter. Uh, the stealth aspect is pretty good. Like, everyone loves the stealth aspect of Wraith when versing him. You hear his fucking choking breathing, like, ah, or, you know, you know that shit, and his bing bong, bing bong kind of fucking noise. And it, come on, it's fun. Everyone loves that bit. However, I don't like it when Wraiths body block me from going to a pallet or vaulting a window, because it's basically just them flexing on me. But for that reason, alone, I'll put him in an A tier, kind of fun. But don't worry, in my heart, he'll always be an S tier killer to go against. We all love the race. Hilius Billius. There's three types of hillbillies, and they're all fucking fun to go against. Regular hillbillies. To go against them, you always have to put them in situations where they have to M1 you so that you don't get down by their chainsaw, and I like that. Curve billies, where you always have to be mindful of your position when you're in a loop, because if you fuck up just once, they can just curve into the pallet and hit you. The last type is a space billy. They're basically the shiny Pokemon of Dead by Daylight. They're basically curve billies, but once they get all their barbecue and chili stacks, they just spend the rest of the game trying to get on top of the stupidest places. They let you fucking watch too! That's why it's so magnificent when you encounter one, but they're so rare. Like, the only footage I have of a space billy is this clip. What? <laughs> S tier. Easiest S tier of my life. Hillbillies are super fun. Nurse is Sanwa. Nurse is the definition of a 50-50 killer. If you get a regular nurse player, like, what I mean by regular is that it's, it's a killer main that just knows how to play nurse. They're not, like, super baby or anything. They, they just know how to play nurse. If you get them, it's a super fun game of who can outpredict who better, and it makes Chase super fun with her that I would actually give Nurse an S tier in fun. But then, on the other hand, you have like the professional nurses who don't give a shit about trying to outpredict you. They just down you. You can't do anything to them. You just have to try and last as long as possible for your teammates to just bum rush Jens, which which isn't very fun. I would actually give that an F tier. It sucks balls. Like, like it's just a loss. How is that fun if you just know you're gonna lose? Since I gave one type of nurse an S and one type of nurse an F, bro, she just has to go in the middle, dude. She's the biggest 50-50 killer. Mikael Miers. He's an S for me. I love regular, scratch mirror, tombstone, all of it. It, it all keeps me on edge. I love him. He's super fun to verse. I love Michael. The stick woman. Okay, the hag. Do I enjoy going against the hag? Like, I don't like versing her, but at the same time, I don't not like versing her, if that makes sense. She's just an uh. Like, I don't think I care enough about the hag to give her anything, to be honest. I'm just gonna put her in meh. <laughs> An apple a day keeps this motherfucker away. If you thought playing against a regular doctor was bad, try versing a professional competitive doctor. You literally won't be able to pull any pallets down or vault any window. They've made me like actual regular doctors. Now I find regular doctors quite fun. So, to be honest, I think doctor would just go in a meh. <laughs> Another easy S. That it's it's just so fun to outplay a Huntress. Nothing makes me feel more good than outplaying like a really skilled Huntress. I don't care what people say about Huntress. She is just so fun to go against. Uh, I just have like the biggest respect for Huntress mains. Thomas Brown Hewitt. Listen and hear me out, okay? <laughs> Most players will probably put Bubba at either a C tier or lower. For content creators, however, 
it's a different story. Actually, to be honest, I think most content creators will actually be too scared to say this and probably also put Bubba at a C tier or lower, but guess what? I know their secrets. For I too am a content creator. And I've spoken to most of them about this. Now, I love them all to bits, but I don't think they'll admit this. Bubba is an S tier killer. <laughs> Bubba is what I like to call a content killer, meaning he is the best killer to juice content out of, especially if you are a survivor-sided content creator. Listen to me. Go to your favorite survivor main DVD YouTuber and watch like their best games. I bet most of them probably have a bubba in them. I think he's the best content killer because he's just funny. Tell me right now, would you rather watch me make a trapper DC or a bubba? You'd choose bubba, right? It, it, it's just funnier. Would you rather a, an oni face camp me or a bubba? Exactly. I'm telling you right now, every time a content creator hits record in a game and they see a bubba, they just smile. Because nine times out of ten, they're about to record some really good shit. <laughs> and that makes him so much fun to verse. Freddy Krueger! What a snooze fest. What an actual snooze fest. I, I don't hate him enough that, I have to, I'd, that I'd rather DC than verse him, but every time I fight a Freddy, I just want to sleep. So fuck it, I sleep, dude. What an actual boring killer. Peppa Pig! This is the only instance in any DVD opinion where my opinion is the only right one. I don't care enough about Dead by Daylight opinions to argue with someone, so like, you could tell me the nurse deserves like 10 blinks in order to be good, and I'll probably just agree with you, because yeah, I, I just don't care enough. <laughs> but Pig is the only instance where I do care. She is the most boring killer to go against. Oh my fucking god. If you enjoy going up against the Pig, you are either in denial, or you're that person that thinks they're different by like, Oh, I actually like going against Pig. Like, no you don't. You just want to suck on the teeth of killer mains. You're not different, you're annoying. I don't even understand how anyone even enjoys maining her. Like, she's just wraith with more steps. Oh, well, you see, she has like a crouch ability and you can like do like a little dash and you can hit people on pallets. Okay, cool. You know what other stealth killer can do a dash on pallets to hit someone? The Wraith, and he does it in a much cooler way. Oh well, you see, for Pig, you can put bear traps on people's heads which delay the game a little bit. What do, just play Wraith with corrupt intervention! This isn't that hard! I don't care enough about this killer to actually DC, so she's just going into the depths of the I sleep category. The only killer in the world that's so boring playing as her and playing against her. Fuck the pig, dude. <laughs> to be fair, he's in the same boat as the hag for me. I don't like versing him, but at the same time, I don't not like versing him, so yeah, he goes in the mech category. Kawaii this near Spiritu san! Oh man, with the nerf or not, I just. Every time I get into a game and it's a spirit, all the happiness just drains from my body. Like, I'd rather DC and face the timer than face a spirit. She's a pain. She's always been a pain for me. I just don't find her fun. Even if I can, like, 5 gen looper or something, I just still don't find it fun. Ooh, look at that. It's our first ever little F tier killer. The Backstreet Boys. You know what? I actually used to absolutely despise going against the Legion, but as I've, like, grown and matured, he's actually quite fun. There's not really a pinpoint reason as to why I like the Legion right now. Probably because it's either a guaranteed win, <laughs> unless we're being idiots, but I don't know, he's just fun to go against to me now, so you know what? He's an A tier for me. I surprisingly like going against Legion. <laughs> the one killer perk that I absolutely hate in Dead by Daylight is Thanatophobia. And most plagues run Thanatophobia. It's a weird argument that I'm presenting right now because I gave Legion an A tier, and most Legions also run Thanatophobia. They're pretty much almost the same killer anyway, objective-wise, because they just force you to stay injured for most of the game. But yet, I'd rather get stabbed by Julie and then forced to do a Thanatophobia gen than get puked on by a Deeries and then do a Thanatophobia gen. I don't know why. Maybe because Legion is more action-packed and ooh, ooh, speedy, you know, and, uh, and Plague is just nothing. I'm not even kidding. I actually fall asleep when I verse a plague. <laughs> Ghostface is the only killer that has managed to jump scare me more times far beyond than the other killers. Like I've literally shat myself in the presence of this killer more times than I can count. And you know what? A killer that makes me shit myself? I, I kind of have a respect for that. The fattest A tier in the world, dude. Demogorgon? More like Demigorgon. <laughs> he's one of those killers where he's super easy to loop, yet extremely hard to loop at the exact same time. 
and that just makes him more fun. So Demogorgon is a fat ass. Genji from Overwatch. Oh, Oni is fun. In early game, everyone's on their toes, trying their best not to give him his power. Everyone's basically playing so safely in the early game because they don't want to fucking lose. The moment he gets his power though, he can just destroy, dude. He can just down people in like 10 seconds. Though downing people in 10 seconds with Oni is pretty fun when you're playing as him, everyone getting downed in 10 seconds when you're playing against him isn't that fun. He is a borderline S tier killer, if not just the kind of fun killer, but just to be safe, I'll put him in kind of fun. Depression bringer. Bruh, he's in the same category as Spirit Man. Nerf or not, it's just not fun playing against the Death Slinger. Every time I get into a Death Slinger game, I just, oh, I just want to fucking die, bro. <laughs> I actually have more fun watching the DC penalty timer go down than playing against him. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Look at the top of his head. Ah, oh, he's alright. He's not my cup of tea. We, I have some good games with him, I have some bad games with him, but uh, I guess he's a meh. The Blight. I'm not even coming up with a funny name for this one because I respect Blight mains a lot. In my opinion, he's a pretty fun and balanced killer. He's a bit like Demogorgon Huntress for me. In the sense of Demogorgon, he's an easy killer to loop, but at the same time, he's fucking difficult to loop. In the sense of Huntress, when you outplay a really good fucking Blight, you feel really good about yourself. He's just fun, high paced. Oh, bro, I, I, I want to kiss Blight. Probably not in the mouth, though. Surprise, surprise, my man is a definite S tier. <laughs> Who are these two again? I don't think I've versed the twins in like five fucking years, bro. <laughs> no one plays as them, so I can't rank them. In the small chance I do get a twins, it's it's probably just like a new killer just trying them out. Like, I don't think I've ever versed like a professional twins player. Like, you know, someone like Lynxy? Oh man, I would do anything to verse like a twins player like her, dude. Because, oh, bro, I just want a good twins player, man. Should I put them in meh or I sleep? Ah, oh, fuck it. I put them in I sleep because there's not enough data for me to fucking evaluate if I like playing against twins. They don't exist. Napita <laughs> Nama. Thanos Gaming. He's fun. He's very fun. I have a lot of fun with him. The only problem is the fucking zombies. <laughs> They are the most RNG bullshit in the fucking world. I'm doing a gen on the other side of the map to put pressure on the killer and then bam, a zombie just comes over to me and wants to touch my balls. Nemesis would have been such a great S tier killer, but he just got destroyed by his own zombies, man. Hey, yo, did that dude just bust a nut? Every time I verse a pinhead, I want to slam my head against my keyboard, dude. Oh, I have a fucking aneurysm when I verse him, man. Urgh! Ah! Ah! Shut the fuck up. I mean, I used to like her, but then I realized the only time I actually had fun versing her was when we got queued up with my mate who was a comp player. And the only reason I had fun was because I knew that it was him playing against me. Other than that, holding W is so fucking boring dude Ooh, you know what she's a bit of a snooze bruh she's a bit of a snooze all right and here's my list hope you guys enjoyed and uh tell me what other shit i should make a tier list on <laughs> please don't make it weird yet not yet <laughs>